You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Whatever happened on this dock is between my sister and I. It does not concern God at all.
is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. Remember you. Fear be God. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one.
God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Do you really believe they would come for us here, in such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks.
What on earth happened here? It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. It's locked, all right.
can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. Moron had me laughing at first. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, oh, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. 
Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Do you know where I can find Sean Hampton? I need to talk to him. The sad saint. Why on earth do you want to talk to him? He was one of my patients at the Pembroke Hospital. Oh, yeah. I heard the poor bastard had been abducted by some cat. Y you better ask Tom Watts. He knows Sean Hampton well. Goodbye, Mr. Dick. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want, then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money, I'll show you all I have. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. Goodbye, Miss Cox. These murders are the work of a vampire. Not a drop of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? An old story. Monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. No, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I, think I'm leaving. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Would explain his faith and need to help everyone. The important thing is I find him quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Are they stupid or something? Times like these are good drinks just in the course of the course of soul.
can't believe I'm doing this. I have this thirst for blood. Seems like the guard of Prewood is on Shorthampton's trail, too. I hate leeches! Want some of this? Back in the grave! Back to the bloody die, beast! Boys! <laughs> 